I hopped a fence with a buyer to show a property and a buyer was a mom. Let's talk about it. What's going on, good people? Chris Newen here. Chris Newen Real Estate, chrisnewenrealestate.com. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me get these numbers up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We, we slowly going up and we slowly building the views up, but I need more. Like, tell a friend, seriously, to tell a friend, tell a friend, get these views up. Help me. Help me crush this algorithm. Ugh! Listen. I got a crazy story for you guys. I, f I actually forgot all about this. So a few years ago, um, maybe my second year in the real estate. Yeah, about my second year in the real estate. I just got my car. And um, it's when I I got referred a buyer, right? Got referred a buyer. Yeah, and yeah, no. So this is when I had my partner, Jackie, right? Um, she went out of the country on vacation for something, but she got referred a buyer from a friend that she was cool with. The buyer happened to be um, her friend's son from, from somewhere, I forget. He wants to buy properties in the Bronx. All right, dope. So he's like an active buyer. Like he's like sending properties overnight, overnight. Like he's somebody like, all right, if you don't, if you don't help him, He's going to buy it himself. Like, he's not one of those. He's pre-approved. Everything is taken care of. He's ready to go. All right, cool. We have, I set up two days worth of showings. Because he, he he sent me the properties. So, remember, remember, Jackie is on vacation. So, I go out with him to see the properties. We see this one, we see a bunch of properties. And then it's this one property that we that you wanted to see. <laughs> the agent's supposed to be there. The agent isn't there. I'm calling the agent. I'm calling the agent. Now we in the Bronx, and the the way that houses were situated, like it wasn't on the sidewalk. Like the houses kind of went was like it was a sidewalk, and it was like a an elevation. So the houses were on the elevation. So you walk down, and as the block goes long, pause. The elevation continues to rise. Post. So now we are <laughs> we in front of the house, and I'm calling the agent, calling the agent, calling the agent. Because how am I going to get in this property? You're not here. I don't know if the agent did ever remember. I, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> I'm like, all right. He's like, oh, the keys is not open. No, it's not open. There's a there's a lock box here. Not only is there a lockbox, no, there's not even a lockbox. It's a chain, it's a padlock, like with the, in the key. There's like a chain lock, like one of those big brolic chains that DMX used to wear. Like it's a chain lock on the padlock. So it's not even like I can do something like, he's like, oh man. Well, the contractors were supposed to be there. If they're not there. Okay, they were supposed to be here, but they're not here. What? How can I get in this property? <laughs> he says, well, the main door should be open. The main door should be, my, remember, there's an elevation. There's a gate. I don't want to say fence. It, it's, it's like, it's like a gate. It's not like really a gate. It's like, a, I don't know how to describe it. It's a gate fence. It's a, a fate. <laughs> a fence gate. It's a fate. Huge. So I'm like, all right, we really got to I'm in a suit with dress shoes on, Gordon Rush dress shoes. Bro, they say that to get in the property, we have to hop this gate, go all the way around, hop the next gate, and go inside the, the property because that door is open. He like, okay, mind you, he, he like fit. He has like a tank top on, he shorts. I'm in a suit. I'm, I ain't going to lie. Part of me is hoping he's going to say, let's go. I'm hoping he, listen, I'm not hopping over the gate. You know, we can come back tomorrow. He wants to hop the gate. So now, <laughs> I'm like, all right. 
gate is super high. I go up and I'm hopping the gate. I'm climbing, my, I'm sorry, my body is sore. I'm crazy workout yesterday. I'm like hopping the gate. Get on top of the gate, my pants get stuck. I like how to like do something with my pants so my pants can like get off and I don't have a big rip you know, on my pants. So we get over the gate, we get inside, there's no refrigerator. The reason why there's no refrigerator is because <laughs> the, um people robbed the house the night before the showing, according to the agent. People robbed the house for the refrigerator. So I'm like, how did they take a fridge out of this house? <laughs> like, if you guys seen a space, like, it's a standard fridge. So it's not like a mini fridge. It's not a like skinny fridge. It's a standard size fridge because the kitchen was big. What? It had to take two to three people. Like, you can't put it on your back. Mind you, you got to go down. It's like a spiral. I'm like, this is crazy to me. You put a fridge on your back? And then I'm like, how did they get it over the gate? <laughs> you know how determined you have to be to get a fridge over a freaking fence gate. The fate. The gents. <laughs> we call it a gents. It's a gate fence. You know how determined you have to be to get a, fr- a refrigerator over a gents? That is crazy. We looking around the house. It's actually a beautiful house. It's huge. Um, one of the downsides were it took oil, which means it's way more expensive to um, keep the house warm. Right? And it takes a couple thousand dollars to like take out the, the oil tank and convert it to gas. He calls his mom. FaceTimes his mom. They didn't know anything about his mom at this point. His mom wanted to see the house. All right, no problem. Let's go. Um, they want to see it tomorrow, eight o'clock in the morning. I live in East New York, Brooklyn. This guy was staying in downtown Brooklyn for the time being. This means I had to get up at six o'clock in the morning, get him by six thirty, six forty-five. Pick up his, no, his mom met us there. So get to the Bronx before eight, because I don't want the mom waiting on me. So we get there at 7.45. I'm tired. They still didn't come back with the key. We had to jump the fence again. Mind you, I'm I'm still in a suit because I'm thinking that they, something with the key, like somebody's going to be there or whatever. I was insured. Access for the sec, fool me once, fool me twice, right? Oh my gosh! And the mom is she's ready. She jumped over the fence quicker than both of us. So now I'm like, oh my god, I'm in the Bronx. People are gonna think that we trying. They somebody just stole a fridge, and not a day after, we got we jump in the the the, the gents, and then we do that, and then we get out, and then we come back with somebody else, and, and jump the gents again. It's, it was crazy to me. I don't understand how she got the mom is like in her fifties, like mid fifties. She looks good for her age. Slender. She had um like the like the yoga pants with the with the the tank top. So it's like she either she had a gym outfit on. So she works out a lot. She jumped the fence like nothing. I'm 28, 29. I struggle with that fence. I'm going to be. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Yo, of course it would be me. Of course it would be me. Then they wind up not buying the house. <laughs> We actually didn't buy a house at all with us. He found another house and put it on his own. Yo, bro, you can't hold us down. You can hold us down and purchase the house with us, bro. I just jumped against for you, bro. You could at least let us negotiate the deal or earn some type of commission on that, man. That was crazy. 
That was crazy. Listen, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend.